We are sitting in the SANCAT right now, which is uh, integrated with the ASIO uh, mission system. The system provides uh, an enhancement to our ASIO task force, which includes airborne segments, ground segments, and command and control. And the fact uh, that we were able to integrate a very unique and enhanced mission system on this vehicle provides the customer with an enhancement to their operational capabilities uh, through the system which receives real-time data from the airborne segments. They are able to know what's ahead of them. They are able to manage the security threats and the targets which they are uh, about to encounter on the way uh, in the vehicle and are able to lead and manage the ground forces into uh, combat when they when it's required. What we are seeing ahead of us is uh, in front of us is the mission system, the ASIO mission system that is installed on the Sandcat. What we can see is first of all the situation awareness picture that shows me the position of my forces, where my uh, airborne asset, in this case, and helicopter is in terms of uh, my position. I can see myself, I can see my other ground uh, uh, partners and we are also able to see the real-time information that is sent uh, from the helicopter itself providing us a very good indication of what's ahead of us and what are the threats that we are going to encounter. We see in this case three trucks that are doing something, something suspicious that we will send the ground forces to. And the next thing we will do through the system is uh, deploy the forces. They will continue to have the information. They will continue to have real-time support from the airborne asset and from the EOP, EOIR that is installed on the vehicle itself in order for them to be uh, very effective uh, in their mission. And uh, what operations could uh, the systems be used for? The operations are quite diverse, uh, but the main ones are ground surveillance and border protection. The objective of the complete task force is to protect the borders. Uh, usually it starts with the aircraft itself that is flying high and fast and is able to detect uh, insurgents or terrorist threats. And after detecting this, uh, the information is sent down to the Sandcat vehicle where the whole ground operation is being managed and led uh, uh, on the ground by the commanders. And the whole operation needs to be uh, in connectivity of real time. All the information needs to be passed back and forth during the mission. And at the end, it doesn't require, it doesn't require, or it doesn't matter which mission it is, as long as the information is passed and the commanders are aware of what's going on. We are looking at the HL, HLSI segment, uh, the Homeland Security, uh, ground forces, MODs, uh, which encounter terrorist threats, smuggling uh, as a daily uh, requirement. And I think the fact that we provide a very enhanced visibility of the threat can be even used as uh, for police forces who are looking to extend their capabilities. And uh, are there any particular regions where this system would be particularly effective in your, your view? There is no specific reason. I think uh, the big advantage is in those areas where the terrain is difficult, where there needs to be a, a real-time communication in order to overcome uh, obstacles and barriers. Uh, the first integration was done and is operational from the ASIO perspective on a vehicle in Mexico that is fully operational, providing them uh, protection to their strategic assets, pipelines, refineries, etc. Uh, but today we see a lot of demand in Africa for this and of course in South America. A typical scenario uh, usually starts with an airborne uh, unit. It can be an airborne an aircraft that carries surveillance equipment on it or it can be a UAV that is uh, patrolling the area. The information from these airborne assets is sent in real time through a data link or a satellite communication uh, network.
to the vehicle itself where we can see the information on the screens uh, in front of us along with the positioning of the whole all of my forces and assets on the ground next uh, usually as the ground forces are called into action and I will be able from my command post on the Sandcat to deploy the EOP uh, which is on top of the vehicle confirm the threats that are ahead of us and manage in real time uh, the interception forces that are sent uh, to stop uh, the activity. Uh, an extension of the unit is also these handheld devices which are held by the ground forces and enable them as well during the interception to receive the information in real time through the data link antennas and everything that the Sandcat receives, all the information it has and all the mission information is sent all the way down to the soldier itself so he can see what's ahead of him and be better prepared.